Hey guys, what's going on? Ryan here with Tom Trisana, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the three pieces that I think you absolutely need when starting out your collection. These pieces are all versatile, they're easy to pull off, they're easy to find, they're just things that I absolutely think you should get if you're starting out from nothing or if even you just want to enhance your style like let's say you wear dress shirts already or you wear polos or something like that these pieces will elevate your game and take your style to the next level all right let's get into it the first piece I would suggest getting if you're just starting out or if you want to enhance your style is of course a sports jacket or a blazer and preferably a black sport jacket and I'll tell you why I feel that black is just the easiest color to pull off it you know it requires virtually no thought and it, it just you know when you're starting out when you're you know taking your wardrobe to the next level and trying to add to it you definitely don't want to complicate things so that's why I think black is the best basic color for actually any piece but a sports jacket, I don't know what it is about it. It just, you know, takes any style to the next level. You know, you, whether you wear basic t-shirts or v-necks or, you know, you, w you wear business shirts already or you wear, you know, polos or hell, even graphic tees. Personally, I hate that style. I, I wouldn't wear a uh, graphic tee with a blazer, but I'm just saying it definitely takes it to the next level and makes you look a little bit more professional so if you're trying to go for that look or you're just starting out and you want to be more professional you want to look more mature absolutely get a sports jacket second piece i feel you absolutely need when starting out is a nice formal watch like the one i'm wearing i have um nice seiko watch it's uh a smaller one it fits my wrist pretty nicely uh, it's the leather strap which I would uh, highly recommend over the bracelet watches and it, it's just very formal very versatile I can wear it professionally or I can wear it casually but the reason that I say formal watch is because there are actually a ton of watch styles uh, I, I, I'm not that into it i don't really talk about it much on this channel but they range from like casual formal watches there's smart watches now everybody's wearing those um they're incredibly tacky in my opinion and i uh, absolutely i would never wear one with a uh, sports jacket or to look professional but a lot of people do but if you're just starting out and you want to look more professional you want to look more mature take your game to the next level get a formal watch these actually come in a wide variety of colors there's different types of leather I wouldn't get too bogged down by it but I would definitely look for something that you'd feel comfortable wearing so this watch you know this is a 28 millimeter it's a little bit on the small side but like I said it fits my wrist nicely so I like it a couple others I have that would definitely work are uh, this Kenneth Cole you know it's the black leather black leather strap you know black face so you know it would look very nice with a black jacket um but it, it is a little bit on the bigger side which uh traditionally like men's watches are, are more supposed to be smaller so like anywhere from 28 millimeters to 35 uh this is 43 but I, I mean, it, it's fine for the most part. I mean, whatever you're really comfortable with. Also, I have here uh, the same watch, except it is the blue strap. So if you want to go with uh, something a little bit different, uh, you could go with blue leather. Um, brown leather would also be a great choice because it's extremely versatile. Brown's a really easy color to pull off as well. But the bottom line is you just need some sort of formal watch not a smart watch not a casual watch and absolutely not a smart watch those things are cool but there's a certain place and time to wear those a formal watch like my seiko or the kenneth cole watches can wear those whenever the third piece 
that you're definitely going to need to take your style to the next level is a nice pair of formal shoes now a lot of guys especially starting out they don't realize this but shoes are actually one of if not the most important piece of your assembly that's because people are looking at you especially women women always seem to notice shoes and it might make sense if you've ever been around a woman you've dated somebody and you've, you've seen their shoe collection and they have so many damn shoes it's so unnecessary but they just i don't they have a thing for shoes and you know therefore they kind of notice when a guy's wearing really nice shoes and, and they kind of use that to judge an entire outfit right and so you know having a good pair of shoes is always ideal but especially for your professional look so with your jacket like if you get a black jacket i would recommend you get a black pair of shoes now ideally you could get a pair of oxfords uh, you could also get a pair of brogues there's different styles you need to go to a shoe store and kind of take a look at them um, try different ones on see which ones you kind of feel comfortable with what kind of styles vibe with you but the rule is that you want to kind of you know you want to match your uh, your shoe with you know your uh, the color scheme you have going on traditionally you match it with your belt uh, but I'm not talking about belts in this so I'm just going to say that if you have a black sports jacket I would highly recommend wearing a black pair of dress shoes uh, compared to or as opposed to like a brown pair because brown and black they go together sometimes but they clash in other instances and one of those instances is definitely when you have a black sports jacket and a brown pair of shoes it just doesn't look good so if you do go with a brown jet or the black jacket rather which I really do recommend you do then go with a black pair of uh, formal dress shoes however if you know you get a navy jacket navy is also a very popular starter color a lot of people actually I'd, I'd say more people actually recommend starting with navy over black navy or charcoal uh, well charcoal you would also want to wear black but something like navy or like you know a tan jacket or a brown jacket or, or even a, a lighter jacket I would go with brown absolutely uh, but you know that it really depends on what color scheme you're going with if it's a darker you know if, if you're the kind of person that's more apt to wear a darker color scheme I would go with black if you're the kind of person that's more apt to wear a lighter color scheme I'd go with brown so those three things are absolutely essential I would definitely recommend you get those three pieces quickly I'd say within a week of you know taking your style to the next level now I have two bonus pieces that would really work but aren't compulsory they're not absolutely necessary they're not going to really mess up your game at all uh, but they are in my opinion important things to have so for the last couple segments of the video I'm going to show you them explain to you why they're important the first piece that I would say you don't absolutely need but it's definitely preferable at least to me if you have it would be a pocket square now these things traditionally these were basically part of a sports jacket uh, you, you know you wouldn't see a guy wearing a suit or a sports jacket or something without a pocket square in it uh, unfortunately now or, or uh, not unfortunately I guess but unfortunate to me uh, there aren't many guys who wear or not every guy wears them so a couple years ago for Christmas I was at the train station waiting for the train because why else would you be at the train station right uh, but I was sitting and I was just observing you know guys coming you know to and from the train and uh, you know I, I was looking at guys who were wearing uh, you know a jacket or a suit and I was in particularly looking at you know their breast pocket and seeing 
who was wearing a pocket square and who wasn't and you probably wouldn't believe it or maybe you would if you don't know much about this but i would say one out of every 15 guys had a pocket square so that means 14 out of 15 did not it is not really a big deal anymore it's not a cultural thing anymore if you wear one it just tells people that you know what's up you know about fashion and you take care of yourself to the utmost so that's what i like about it it kind of sends a signal to people that you know what's going on in terms of fashion and you take care of yourself now in terms of pocket squares the rule of thumb is this that you always want to match it with the color of your shirt right so right now it might seem a little weird but i'm wearing a black pocket square and the reason is so it matches the black shirt now you can't really see it that well because you know obviously i'm wearing a black jacket as well but uh you know the the traditional one is the white pocket square and you have it on with a white shirt you know a lot of people these days too they seem to think that you match the pocket square color with the tie or you know god forbid they don't know what they're doing they just buy a set with like a tie and a pocket square and it looks incredibly tacky it looks like you know they clearly have no idea what's going on but that's just the rule that you want to match the the color of the pocket square with the color of your shirt but I know you probably have a ton of different colors in your wardrobe and you know obviously you don't want to go out and spend thirty dollars on you know several different uh, pocket squares just to do that so I would say that the most popular or the easiest one to get the easiest one to pull off is definitely the white pocket square now that's because white is such a, an acceptable versatile color it goes with literally everything so it really doesn't matter too much if you're wearing a black shirt or you're wearing you know a, uh, a pink shirt or whatever the case may be um, yeah, I, I, I don't like how it looks that much just because I tend to be a stickler for little things like that, little rules like that. Uh, but you definitely could pull this off with virtually any color. So, you know, if you only want to spend, you know, 30, 40 bucks on one pocket square, I'd go with a white one. And again, you don't necessarily need it, but it's definitely going to help you stand out and definitely going to take your style game even further. The second bonus piece that you don't necessarily need but I think you do because I think it uh, it, it takes your uh, professionality your maturity to the next level actually deals with an entirely different sense right the sense of smell right you guys had to know this was coming because the majority of my videos are about fragrances so it, you know <laughs> but I you know I would recommend going with something you know super simple super safe like this one right here the epitome of blue fragrances the epitome of safe fragrances blue de chanel this is the eau de parfum variety i would highly recommend this one because it is just such a basic fragrance it's fresh and clean um you know just very easy to pull off very safe it is a potent one it's a little powerful so so you need to be a little careful about spraying it uh, you could definitely over apply this I feel um, but it is overall a very enjoyable mature fragrance I know my dad had this one your dad probably had this one at some point um, if this was around when your grandfather was you know younger he would have had that this one um, but you know it, it's it's fairly recent uh, but you know it, it doesn't necessarily have to be blue de chanel either it could be um, you know like Sauvage or you know Yves Saint Laurent why uh, th there's all sorts of very basic simple fragrances i mean i'm sure you guys have seen my uh, starter fragrance guide i'll put it right here if not you guys can go check that out again but uh, anything from that list i feel would just complement your professional style it would just help you elevate your style game 
even further so right the first three parts the first three pieces in this video are necessities that I think everybody needs when starting out last two parts are going to take you a notch further and a notch further so I would highly recommend both you know especially the pocket square if you just want to focus on the style and not really focus on the uh, the fragrance component but to me I feel style and fragrance are hand in hand they're like one in the same I couldn't imagine dressing up looking sharp and not wearing a fragrance so definitely consider you know a nice professional fragrance to complement your nice professional style but that's that guys what do you, do you think let me know down below if you have any questions I can help you with you weren't sure about anything I'm talked about in this video or if you'd prefer feel free to reach out to me on my Facebook page and I'll talk to you help you out the best I can also if you haven't yet give this one a thumbs up especially if I've helped you out in some way give me a thumbs up and then make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this and hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date every time I post something all right guys but before you leave remember when you look and smell your best you feel your best and that's what